Hey guys, it is your girl Belinda on this night, late cap, beautiful evening on this lovely Wednesday. And um, I just want to say to everybody, I know everybody's worried about the voting and all that, which should be the number one thing going on right now. Um, so everything's in the air and everybody's just having the election depression is what they're calling it. Um, so I decided to cheer things up. Um, me and my honey, we call it sweetheart day. That's what we do today. Um, this is our sweetheart day where we just have, um, we enjoy a meal. It's our little thing. We enjoy a meal, just me and him. Um, however, I do still cook for my kiddos and my family, but it's like our time to just unwind. It's been a long year um, through all this COVID-19 stuff. It's been really rough on a lot of us. Um, so um, I decided to cheer things up and do a one-on-one -on -one with you guys today. Little short clips I'm going to be putting together, okay, because I don't want to take up my whole night. I want to be able to unwind and relax kiddos have online schooling tomorrow so i have to be super mom and be on point with that as well however i miss you guys tremendously i miss doing one-on-ones with you guys um i miss a lot of my friends that i used to be able to um you know go out and um and do things together um far as um you know with food and um just um being out there with her mouth and putting my food out there and just doing all those fun things that I was doing in the beginning. So it's been really rough for me. Um, so I'm just trying to hang in tight like anybody else, any other mom, and just taking things one day at a time. That's all you can do. Um, so I told you guys I was cooking something very special for me and my sweetheart today and my family. Um, so what I plan on doing today, I plan on making, I'm going to show you my beautiful board I have going on up here. Okay. I am going to be making strip New York bone steak, sauteed shrimp, and I'm going to be doing mashed plantains, salted butter, and Goya 10X flavor. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm making a lot of flavor into that. However, um, today was my grocery day, so I ran out and got a couple things, um, ingredients that I was missing as well. So I want to show you guys. I was so happy to get these uh, uh, plantains ripe the way I want them because that's the way I want to cook these bad boys. Um, to make the dish that I want to make and sometimes in grocery stores it's really hard to find them right um, you know it's, it's you really have to you know I had to actually stop to two different grocery stores today but I got lucky so I want to show you the stickers on them because I think they're super duper cute um, so let's take a look all right here are the plantains and this is the way they should be right for this dish that i'm about to show you i'm basically doing a mash like you would do a mashed potato um but it's going to be a mashed plantain um it's a super delicious dish that i grew up on my very own recipe that i put together myself and i want to share that with you guys and it's something very very simple in my kitchen and it goes great with shrimp all right, so I wanted to show you these funky little stickers they have on them. I adore them. Okay, they have like little notes on them, what you can use these guys for. This one says, great for baking. This one says, great for grilling. This one says, create for great, um, excuse me, great for frying. <laughs> and this one says, try as a side dish and that's what i'm doing today a side mashed plantain dish all oh, these things are so adorable i love when they put stickers on them and here it says great for grilling all right so there you have it these are all the wonderful beautiful things you could do with these guys all right so remember what i tell you guys every day Every time I'm on my YouTube channel, don't be afraid to play with things in your kitchen. You never know what you're going to get. All right, guys. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and break down my ingredients to you um, very quickly so I can get the moving along for this beautiful dish. And um, so let's get right to it, your girl. Flip side. <laughs> All right, so I already showed you the plantains. Okay, I have two haste avocados. That's gonna be on top of my presentation on the dish, my garnish and deliciousness. Um, we are going to be working today with Olive Extra Original, the Perfect Blend Ganola Oil and Extra Olive, Virgin Olive Oil. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Yeah, let's just put this up a little bit, okay. And this is uh, one of the best things you can get for this dish. All right, we have a yellow cooking onion. We have green onion. We have cilantro. We have quino goya organics. This is going to be on the shrimp. This is what I've cooked with this many a times, and this is going to be my coating, my crispiness to my shrimp after I saute that delicious jumbo shrimp. All right. So, I also have ginger mints. Very good, very delicious. You don't need much of this. And you'll see how I break everything down for every um, dish that I'm doing. I have uh, the tasty cheese, okay, that I'm using. I have McGormick, okay, smoky McGormick. I have Badia Curry, the Jamaican style. You see me guys cook with this plenty of time. And that's all what's here. Okay, and I have sazon de badia tropical. I have sofrito. Now, the sofrito that I'm using today is a base tomato cooking base sofrito. This is the one you want to use. Okay, and I'm going to break that down in all my little videos so you guys know what I'm using for each dish. I have salted butter. I have three packets of envelope of salsong. I have this beautiful glaze that I put on my shrimp after I saute it. I use this beautiful Hawaiian style marinade. Now you can use anything you'd like to give it an extra punch, an extra um, uh, nice flavor to um, the chicken. This has all kinds of fruit mixed in it and I love it. And it's a good aftertaste um, in your mouth when you pop that uh, delicious shrimp. All right, so let's move along over here. Now wait. Uh, where was I? Okay, yep, right here. Okay, so we have mixed peppers. We have yellow. I'm sorry, yep, yellow, red, green. My lovely shrimp. It's been sitting in water for about an hour. We have Parmesan cheese. This is the cheese I'm going to be doing after I cook the wonderful, beautiful shrimp. It goes so good on top to die for, guys. Please take notes. And here is my beautiful New York a strip bone steak. And I got some lovely pieces. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I like the fatty pieces. Love that on a fork. Yum, yum. <laughs> and they are cleaned out. I clean them out very good. And um, I also have back here, it's portabella mushrooms. They're the big, fancy, puffed out mushrooms, the brown ones. I chopped them them bad boys up and i also use them into my beautiful lovely steak okay right now this gal is boiling water and i'm about to open these uh beautiful lovely plantains up and chop them up so they can get nice and soft and boiled and you're gonna have that video coming after this one so again please stay tuned to this beautiful lovely recipe i love you guys so much and please everybody hang in there for the voting you know everybody has their own opinion and um like i said they call it the stressful of the election so i'm trying to just wait and see what happens all right everything to god all right guys so stay tuned for my deliciousness and please don't miss it i miss you guys so much and i just glad that i'm here today able to share this lovely recipe and have a wonderful wonderful night as I always do. All right. See you soon.